y'all welcome back to my channel so alrighty guys it is June and it is time for another stitch fix unboxing super excited about it because this is my birthday fix now it is late unfortunately it's a day late but better late than never right so I'm excited about this box because this box and I don't know if the note got to Caitlin in time my stylist so I'm hoping it did because I didn't fill it out until last minute and that's very unlike me but I was just really busy with the end of um, school year with work stuff and I didn't fill out my note until late so I hope I got to her but I asked her to put pieces that would pair with my white converse sneakers for the summer on the go but still looking polished and chic mommy chic so I'm excited about that and guys if you just watched my stitch fix for less thread up and contempo boutique video um, I had a little bit of backlash with that video because y'all thought that I didn't like stitch, stitch fix anymore guys and y'all know stitch fix is my jam and will always be my jam but if we can save money what's what's not to like about saving a little money here and there and not blowing it so I don't see what the harm is with with that video but I also have my other two pieces that I mentioned in that video from thread up that I'm going to share with y'all as well so let's get right into the box y'all know I do not peek on the app I always like to be surprised with you guys so it is a true impression and it is Saturday when I'm filming this guys I'm not sure when this is gonna go up but I don't like to get dressed on Saturday so hence the hair and the not much makeup going on so they always give you the return bag which is nice and oh she put some jewelry in here I did request it okay so she must have gotten my my note so I'm excited about that um let's see what's in here we've got the prices y'all know I look at the prices at the end Father's Day fix Lonnie doesn't like um, Stitch Fix stuff, and here is my card, so I'll read that towards the end. All right, so I do have a jewelry. I hope it's the jewelry I requested, and my burrito. Let's look at the burrito. Okay, stuff to pair a Converse. Keep that in mind. I'm not sure about that purple and pink going on there. I told her, like, tops and dresses, so we'll see. I actually wasn't even going to do a fix this month, guys, because I've been getting such great things with thread up. I was going to put it off until July to get stuff from work. But yes, she did send in the Bay 2 Bobbles, and it doesn't have, yeah, Bay 2 Bobbles Kia Drop Earrings. And these are not the ones that I requested. Okay, these are different, but I told her I'm obsessed with feathers, and most of y'all know that. But these are cute. These are actually um, a little bit cuter than the ones that I had pinned, so... I'm kind of digging that. What do y'all think about those? All right, so I wanted some feather earrings. Let's get into the bundle. Those are probably 28 bucks, so if I don't like anything in here, that's not a bad deal to keep those so I don't lose my styling fee, which is $20, if you don't know. Okay, so first things first. I'm excited, I'm kind of nervous too. Oh, this is cute. This is the Paper Moon. Let me look at the tag here. Ophir Crochet Detail Knit Tank in Navy. And it is super mega hot here in Louisiana, and I love the crochet detailing. I know a lot of y'all do not like crochet, and y'all think it's kind of grandma-ish, but I like crochet de detailing. I actually really don't own anything with any crochet, even though I like it. It's got the cool keyhole back in the back there, and it's very lightweight. Navy would look cute with a pair of like distressed jeans and Converse. Remember, this is supposed to be centered around Converse, and I think she did get the note. And she did send me some shorts or something, too. All right, what is this? This is the, oh, she sent me a kimono. <laughs> I'm such a little kid, I'm sorry guys, I get excited about stuff. This is the Renee Scene Phineas kimono, and I love a kimono. I do have a few kimonos, not from Stitch Fix, but from other places I've bought, and it's a chevron pattern, and I love freaking chevron so much. I am really digging that. That would be cute paired with this, right guys? Y'all tell me, because it's got navy in there. So that would probably be paired pretty cute or just like a plain navy tank under this or like a, a yellow tank. It's got plenty of colors. It's got the turquoise in there. So yeah, I'm loving the kimonos. And will that look good with Converse? I don't know. Y'all let me know. All right, what is this? Okay, a pair of shorts. And I've, I really don't like to get shorts from Stitch Fix because they are a million dollar. And I get a lot of cute shorts from like JCPenney's and stuff for cheap. So I don't like to pay a lot of money for shorts. If I'm going to pay a lot of money, it's going to be for jeans. But I did tell her to keep this budget friendly. So we'll see. These are the Makers. I've never heard of that brand. Jalen Cuffed Denim Shorts in Navy. Now these are um, shorter than I would like just from looking at them right here. But I will tell you guys, this material is super, they super, super, soft. super soft and very stretchy. So they are very, very forgiving. So we will definitely try those on and hopefully they are budget friendly. 
And last but not least, let's see what this is. 41 Hawthorne. Oh, this is a dress, and it is kind of cute. All right, so 41 Hawthorne Kazia shirt dress in light pink. So that's cute. That looks like the dresses that I usually get from Stitch Fix. So it's got the little button up here, if you can see it, button up detail. Um, just from looking at the stuff that was open, guys, um, I'm excited about the kimono and the earrings for sure. Not sure about the other pieces. I did have a lot of cute, like, casual t-shirts and stuff that I wanted that I thought would be cute, but, you know, it is what it is. And real quick, I'm going to open this stuff up from ThreadUp so you can see the other two pieces that I bought from ThreadUp, and then we'll look at the note, and I'll try this stuff on and look at the prices. But from ThreadUp, again, guys, ThreadUp, and a lot of y'all were confused about ThreadUp. Look how cute their packaging is as well. Thread up guys is people send in clothes that maybe they haven't even worn or they wore one time and it's a resell store. So it has been from people previously, but most of the pieces that I've bought from thread up are brand spanking new. So it's not like they've been worn. So I had a lot of people like, Oh, I'm not going to wear other people's clothes. Really? Okay. But <laughs> this is, and this looks like they just took the tags off and that is it. I'm telling y'all guys thread up is the bomb. So this is the olive and Oak sweater. And it has an ombre effect here, this ombre purple. And I really, really like that. It does look kind of small, so we'll have to see about that. And I'm not sure if I will try these on for you guys or just the Stitch Fix pieces because I know most of y'all are just here for that. But we'll see. I might. I did that last time. And this is another Collectives Concepts dress that I bought, and I really love it. I just am obsessed with Collective Concepts dresses and they're million dollar on Stitch Fix, 78 bucks, but I've been getting them for $22. And because of all y'all signing up with the awesome referral credit, because you get $10 when you sign up using my referral credit with ThreadUp, and then I get 10 bucks, I got these two pieces actually absolutely free. No shipping either, which is nice. So it's got this cool back detail in the back, which I really love, and it's got a V-neck in the front and the back. Loving that purple color. I love this dress way more than this dress from Stitch Fix, I can tell you now. Um, so yeah, I'll probably try these on for you guys because I know you like seeing the try-ons. All right, let's look at the card real quick and let's see if it's Caitlin and what she had to say. It is Caitlin and it says, hey Nicole, ah summer, ah summer is almost here. The birds are chirping, the sun is out. She always has some like little catchy phrase. And I can't wait to get, to get your hands on new clothes for your growing closet. The warm, glorious summer air is already here and that can mean only one thing, it's time to break out those dresses. The 41 Hawthorne shirt dress comes with functional pockets that I know you will love. Wear this with your favorite pair of Converse and a canvas tote to go run errands or dress it a little for a family barbecue with sandals and the Beta Bobbles earrings to show off those feathers. The Dear John shorts are in a classic Chino cut. Dear John shorts. Yeah, I didn't get Dear John shorts. I got makers, so she's wrong on that. Um, classic Chino cut that have a bit of stretch for that extra comfort. Wear these with the earrings with the Renee C kimono layered over a basic tee or the paper moon tank for another boho summer style to try. Stay cool and confident. See you next time, Caitlin. All right, so here's the style cards there. There's the tank. There's the earrings. There's that kimono, guys. I'm obsessed with that kimono. There's the shorts and there's the dress. So let's try these things on and see what we think about these bad boys. All right, guys, I am back with the crochet top and I also have the shorts on I'll show you in a second and the kimono so the kimono I like it but y'all let me know what you think about this kimono because it's kind of the sleeves are a little different from the other kimonos that I've tried in the past I have to say I do like this tank I think it falls perfectly I like how it's not like thin straps there I love the detail in the front it's really really nice and I do like the the navy color, all right? These shorts, see if you can see the shorts. The shorts are short <laughs> for me, okay? So I like my shorts to be probably a little bit right here. I don't like them to be super, super short. I mean, I am a mom of two and my birthday just got here, so I am getting older, so I don't like to have booty shorts on for sure. And I do think they just are a little short for my liking. So I have to say though, guys, if you want to try this Makers brand, and I'll put it right here. This Makers brand right here, guys, 
they are super, super soft. I mean, very, very soft and super comfortable. So if they were just a little bit longer, depending on price, um, I definitely would keep them. So what do y'all think about this outfit? I do have my Converse on with them. So I asked everything with Converse. I think the Converse will look cute with just like this tank and the shorts and that. Not so much with this kimono. I don't know if the kimono will look good with Converse. Y'all let me know what y'all think about that. But let me know what you think about the kimono, the top, and the shorts. All right, so we'll try on the dress next. All right, y'all, next I have this dress and it does have pockets, which y'all know I love pockets. I do like this V and this little triangle detail here, but um, y'all let me know what you think about this. I think to me, and again, she said to pair this with the Converse, so I have the Converse on here. This just seems to be a little bit old for me. I don't know. I've been saying that a lot with the things that she's been sending me. But I don't think this does anything so much for my figure. I don't know. I'm just not feeling this dress at all. Um, I don't think I like the print is why. I'm not a real big fan of the print. And the material to me just seems really cheap. And I forgot who this is even made by, but we'll look at it in a minute. But I think this is going to be a pass. Y'all let me know what you think down below of this dress. But I just don't think this is a winner. So I'm going to try on the two pieces from Thread Up for you real quick. This is the Olive and Oak sweater, and like I said, it looks brand spanking new like it's never been worn. Excuse my black bra because this is white, and obviously I wouldn't wear a black bra with it because it is sheer and you can see through it. So I definitely have to wear like a cream bra or maybe even have a tank underneath it. But it's quarter length, and I just think it's super cute, you know, to wear casually with some skinny jeans or just some distressed jeans with some Converse. And for the fall, we know, you know we don't get a super cold fall or winter for sure, so definitely not a bad piece. And this was originally, I'll have to insert the card for you guys on how much it would. Originally it was, but I got it, like I said, for free, but it was super cheap even if I didn't get it for free. So I do like the ombre effect. Definitely would have to wear another bra. Sorry guys that y'all are seeing all that. But um, I do like this top, so let's try on the dress from Thread Up and see what we think about that collective concept. All right, y'all, Thread Up did it again. I'm obsessed with this freaking dress. Oh my gosh, what do y'all think? All right, so this is the collective concept dress from Thread Up. I love like the sleeve here, the cap sleeve here, so it's not sleeveless, but it doesn't have a long sleeve. I love the V. Um, detail here guys y'all look at the back with that just simple strap that goes across the back I just love those little details make make it or break it for me I love that and how it has the v-neck in the back as well I just think this dress is so stinking cute and I think it falls perfectly right above the knee which I love I love the colors in here I love the patterns in here in this dress I love this. I think this would be cute with Converse on the go too and dress it up with some sandals from work. I am obsessed with this dress. I love these collective concepts dress. I think they flatter my figure is why I like them so much. They hit perfectly with these elastic um, bands in the right spot for me. So like at the small spot and then like kind of flare out. So they're very shape flattering if you will oh man i just love this so much okay so if you watched my last stitch fix you know that i'm loving the thread up pieces almost almost more than the stitch fix pieces so um let's sit down um and i'll show you the earrings and we'll talk about prices all right y'all have the bay two bobbles earrings on they have the pretty little detail there and they have the leaf they are not too heavy if you're wondering and i think they look amazing with this dress and if my hair and my makeup were done i think this with some sandals would be stunning for a date night or for work. I'm obsessed with this dress. Oh my God. This is like my jam right here. This whole thing. I'm definitely probably keeping these earrings because I think they go well with the dress. Y'all let me know what you think. But, and I am not bashing on Stitch Fix at all. Some people had said that. Guys, y'all know Stitch Fix is the reason why I started my channel from the get-go. And then I just shared my other obsessions like couponing and Dollar Tree as I went on. But this is why I started... Um, YouTube in the first place. So I'm never going to bash it. And man, these prices are the bomb.com. So I've never had a fix this cheap in my life. This, uh, the earrings guys are $28, which I told y'all I thought that was. The shorts, the makers shorts, which again, if you like lightweight and stretchy, definitely request these. They're $44, which is too much for me for shorts. I don't like to pay more than $30 for shorts. Because again, if I'm going to pay $44, I'll pay a little bit more and get a whole jeans. That's just my thinking. I'm crazy. 
The 41 Hawthorne Kazea shirt dress. All right, so this shirt dress is cheap for a dress. It's 48 bucks, but I hated this dress. I would not purchase that. Not my style at all. I have to say, Caitlin's kind of be, been hitting the mark with my style. I don't think she's been hitting my style. Maybe she's getting some of the things that maybe fit me kind of the way they should fit me, but not my style and the patterns that I like. She's been kind of missing the mark, even though I love Caitlin. Paper Moon Crochet Detail Top was $38. I did like it, guys, but y'all let me know what you think. I don't think it's $38 worth it. I definitely think I can see this in like JCPenney's or even like Target for way cheaper, so probably not on that guy. And the kimono was only $38, bucks, so definitely not a bad price for the kimono, but I have seen kimonos cheaper as well. So did I love this kimono? Did it blow me away? No, but I'm glad she sent me that because I've had kimonos pinned forever and she hasn't sent me any. So $196 was my subtotal before any uh, discount, so that's amazing. The buy five discount would have been $49, and then they apply your $20 that you pay initially to um, anything that you keep, so that goes towards things. And I also had someone use my referral credit, so thank you so much. And I get a $25 referral credit. So with all those things applied, it'd be $102 to keep the entire fix, which is amazing. I've never had a fix that cheap, like I said, in my life. But do I like all the pieces to blow $100? No. Um, so I think what I'm going to do, guys, is definitely keeping these earrings for sure. So I would only pay $8 for them additionally because I've already paid the $20 styling fee. And y'all let me know of any other pieces that you think that I just absolutely need to keep. But none of them like blew me out the water um, per se. This did. I love this. And even though I definitely need a different bra with this, I think this is going to be great for fall here. So again, if you have not used ThreadUp, guys, I cannot say enough good things about ThreadUp. I will leave the link down below in the description box for ThreadUp along with Stitch Fix. So if you want to get your first fix and see how it is, if you've never tried it, you could use that one. And I do get a $25 referral credit if you um, sign up and actually get a box, but no pressure to do that. It's there if you um, want to get a fix. And with ThreadUp, though, what's awesome about the Referral code for this is that if you use the referral code, you automatically get $10 in your account, and then I get $10 back if you make a purchase. So super awesome with that. So that was my fix number 15, guys. We'll definitely um, continue with Stitch Fix, but I think I'm gonna take a little break and continue buying some things with ThreadUp. Give this video a thumbs up if you love unboxings and try-ons, and hit that subscribe button if you're not with me already, because I'd love to have you a part of the fam. And until next time, love you guys so much. Let me know down below what you think of these items. See you next time. Bye.